All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Flying right here. I've got a great video for you today. I'm gonna to talk to you about what I think is one of the best wireless mic systems out there in the market right now. And that is right here, this DJI wireless mic system. Now, before I do, I'm Flying Ride, and on this channel, I focus on motor vlogs, ride videos, ride reviews, all on my 2022 BMW R1250GS that you see right there. And the main feature of the channel is my 2020 Harley Davidson Street Glide CVO uh, that you typically see here on the channel if you're coming back to the channel. But if you're new, that's the main feature of the channel. And from time to time, I feature this BMW 2022 R1250 uh, GS. I feature cinematic drone footage flying a DJI Mavic 2 drone. I do product upgrades, product reviews like this one. I do group rides, destination rides all across the state, all across the Northeast, all here on the FNR channel. So do me a favor, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of future content like this one. Now, if you have been a subscriber of my channel, you know that uh, Sandstorm, my Harley, uh, is currently getting the finalization of the stage two installation at Get Lowered, which is an awesome, awesome place in Pennsylvania. Highly, highly recommended. And one of the things that uh, he is doing to complete the stage two update is a complete two into two Chromeworks exhaust system, the Eclipse version, which I think is going to look fantastic on Sandstorm. Again, special shout out to Chromeworks uh, for sending me that awesome, awesome uh, system. I can't wait to put it on Sandstorm. Uh, I've had Chromeworks on Sandstorm for a while, just the exhaust tips with a different header. And I absolutely love the sound. I love the performance. In my opinion, it is one of the best sounding exhaust systems out there in the market. I'm going to bring that video to you here probably in the next week or so once the work uh, is finalized. But today, as I shared, and as you saw from the thumbnail, uh, I wanna give you my first impressions on this new wireless system. Now, here's what I wanna talk about. I'm gonna talk about why I actually upgraded to this system. I'm gonna show you the system that I've been using before. You might've seen it here in the channel. Uh, I'm gonna give you some of the high level specs and what I like about this. I'm not gonna go into an in-depth review. I'm actually gonna show it here on the screen as I start to talk about it right from the DJI website. This system has a lot of functionality. You're gonna to wanna to go out there and check it out if you're really interested in all of the technical details. I'm not gonna talk about that here. This is really gonna be uh, why I changed it, high level impressions, uh, what's in the box, that kind of thing. As you can see, I've opened it already. Uh, and then after I do that, as always in all of my videos, we're gonna take it out in Airwolf and we're gonna test out this mic system. Uh, but I think it gives a really, really good perspective the challenge with these 360 cameras, frankly, is particularly this one, the GoPro, um, it's not easy to uh, hook up an external mic to it. As a matter of fact, I'm not even sure you can. If anybody knows how, please let me know down in the comments below. But even if you did, it's gonna be bulky. So I've always wanted to find a solution where I can record the sound um, and pair it with the image that I'm gonna show you on the 360 camera. So that's what we're gonna try out after I give you this overview. So again, you're gonna to wanna to stick around in this video so you can check out this view. Uh, and hopefully it gives all of you yet another option to consider uh, for changing up the views. Look, I like bringing you all sorts of different angles, views, capabilities here on the FNR channel for your viewing pleasure. Uh, and this is yet another example of that. So again, uh, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned and do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm really working on growing the channel, minimum of one video a week. Uh, typically Harley related uh, and or Sandstorm related. Uh, I also feature Airwolf uh, on the channel here from time to time. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you get reminded of uh, future content like this one. All right, so this is actually what comes in the box. I'm gonna show you that here in a minute. This is uh, the box. So this retails for 329, I believe. Uh, I'll show the correct price here on the uh, website here in a second, but I believe it's uh, 329 uh, bucks. You know, once you open it, uh, this is here. Uh, so I just, you know, kind of pulled that out here. I'll show you that in a minute. This also little pouch comes in here. Uh, in the pouch, you've got the wind uh, protection for the mic, two of these. And then you also have your mic uh, adapter to connect to uh, any of your cameras that you're using directly. 
but I'll also show you uh, a really neat function. Uh, and then of course uh, you have the uh, instructions that come here. This box is where the pouch that I just showed you came in. And that's uh, the stuff that's in the box. So I'm gonna put this aside here and then show you this. So look how, first of all, this box is, uh, you can charge it up and it maintains the charge. So even if the battery runs out, uh, you can put it in here and then this will uh, charge it up. I believe you have uh, 15 hours of total charge. Let me show you what this looks like here. Look at that. Now, one of the cool things about this is as soon as you put these two receivers, you can tell it has two receivers here in this dock, it automatically syncs the receivers for you. So it's already, it's already good to go. All you gotta do is start recording or connect it to any of your camera and it is that simple. So it comes with uh, two receivers. You can see how small this is here, already on and powered. There's the, the second receiver. And um, this is really cool. In the back, you see that? That's a magnet. You could actually take that off, just like I just did. And you can use that as uh, one of the options for you to clip this, either on your shirt or on any part directly on the bike if you want to. Again, it gives you uh, some good versatility that some of the other competitors uh, don't, uh, don't offer. One of the best features about this system that I like, and I'm gonna show you the other system I had here in a second, is that this has an internal memory and it allows you to record on each of these receivers up to 14 hours of recording time. So think about that. So, you know, typically I've seen uh, many motobloggers out there actually uh, use a separate recorder to record the sound. This system now, um, now gives you the ability to do that and essentially you know, with a wireless mic system, you can connect the, you can connect it directly to the camera or you could independently use this as a recorder to record sound. And then all you have to do in post editing is align the sound to your video and you have superior quality video for all of your moto vlogs or all of your videos, which again, I think is a huge, huge advantage. Uh, the main competitor to this that I'm gonna show you here in a minute, which is the Rode wireless mic system, does not offer you that capability. Now, uh, let me show you the actual main unit here. So this, uh, you can actually take this off if you want. So this connects to the camera, uh, and then uh, all you do is plug in the cable that I just showed you here a second ago. So this cable connects to uh, right in here, where it says out, uh, and then the other side, is what connects to any camera you want to use. I can connect it to my GoPro. I have a media mod, so I can connect this directly to my GoPro, and then it'll automatically replace the GoPro mic with this mic, uh, so I don't have to sync it in post-editing, or if I don't want to do all of that stuff, I record with my GoPro without having to install this in the GoPro, just using one of, this, uh, one of these receivers. And the other cool part about this is, a lot of times, particularly when I'm using Airwolf, um, I really love the sound that that exhaust makes with this inline engine. And, you know, the mics that I typically use on the helmet don't do it justice. Uh, so the cool thing about this is I can put a mic in the rear and capture just the sound of the exhaust when I want to give you that sound. Uh, and then use this other receiver, the one that's here, uh, either on my shirt or in the front there to capture me talking uh, or just capture the overall sound of the bike, which again, we're going to test here. Uh, in just a second. So by the time I show you the video, uh, I would have done all of the post editing. I would have synced up the, the videos and what you hear, what you're gonna hear is actually the sound from this mic, both from my voice, sounds of the engine, uh, et cetera. So we're gonna test that uh, here shortly and then give you my final impressions of what I think about the system. Uh, but I will tell you that just in, you know, how easy it was just to sync this thing up, how small this is, how compact this system is here, to carry with you, it's it's an awesome system. Now, to talk about the main reason why I switched from this to now this, by the way, I'm gonna put these side by side so you can see. So this is the road receiver, this is the DJI receiver. I mean, essentially it's the same height. This is slightly bigger, but look how much wider this is. It's about the same width, maybe slightly bigger, but look at this. I mean, it fits on top of it. You could almost put two in the width of this mic. Uh, but all of that said, this Rode system, frankly, works really well. Superior sound quality. You know, I'm going to use this for all of my indoor recording needs um, when I'm doing videos inside, etc. But one of the main issues I have with this system is 
the wind protection. So this here is where you typically would put that other wind protection that I showed you that now the DJI comes with too. And because it's a clip system as opposed to a, a, a system that clips in and rotates and stays in place, this stuff would just literally fly out as soon as I would capture any kind of speed. I've lost two of them. And then when I lost the last one, I said, look, that's it. I want to find a different solution. And I don't know if any of you have had that issue using this road, uh, Mike, but I like to use this, just giving you different sounds and different options. And of course, without the wind protection, it sounds horrible. It just captures all of the wind and you can't even use it. Um, however, with the wind protection, it captures the sound really good, even at high speeds. And this just is not cutting it for me anymore. So uh, I'm gonna stay with this uh, just for my indoor recording needs. Uh, and then I'm gonna use this with the wind protection on top. Now, the, the cool thing about this is right here, the, the wind protection clips onto here and then it rotates. And then once it rotates, it does not come out. It doesn't matter how much you vibrate it, it's literally locked in there, which is a much, much better design. So great to DJI. Uh, for designing what I think is a superior, superior product. Uh, and then we'll see the quality here and, and, and give you my overall impression. So, all right, so there you have it. That's the reason why I went with this. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. I'm gonna take it out now and then I'm gonna come back to you and then give you my overall impressions, what I think. Uh, and whether I think it's worth the 329 bucks uh, to, to capture the audio and video and the versatility that I think this ultimately gives you. All right. Let's take it for a ride. All right, so uh, as you can see, I've got the mic on uh, right here on my shirt using that nice uh, handy dandy uh, magnet. So we're gonna take it out for a quick spin. Uh, I'm gonna test it out at different speeds. I'll tell you the speeds. Uh, I'll be talking throughout the process and, uh, and then in post-production, if you're seeing this video, that means the quality was good enough uh, for me to share it with all of you. So uh, let's check it out. Little overcast. Uh, All right, so this is at uh, 35 miles an hour. Going about uh, 40 miles an hour now. Uh, hopefully that's, uh, it's capturing the sound. All right, that's... Uh, 45 miles an hour. As you can tell, I've got the uh, 360 right in front here. You see the, the dead cat? That's not coming off. It's one of the best features I like about this uh, microphone. I'm going about 50 miles an hour right now. Now I'm going about 60 miles an hour. Engine's revving pretty hard. Seventy miles an hour, that's seventy miles an hour. Buddy. Come on, cross the street already so nobody runs over you, buddy. Come on. All right, good job, good job.
A lot of deer in this area. He was about to cross the street, so I uh, wanted to make sure he got back in there so nobody would run into him or her. So look, my overall impressions is uh, a thumbs up for this mic. You know, obviously it's not ideal for high speeds, but uh, for capturing uh, speeds up to like what you saw there and, you know, giving you just another option to be out there blocking the wind. If you don't have a wireless mic system, I think this is the way to go. And I think a great value for what you're getting for 329. So that's, that's my overall impressions. I give it a thumbs up. All right, so uh, look, that's gonna do it for this video. Do me a favor. If you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of content like this one in the future. Thanks for watching.